Can I help you? No, I'm afraid we've only got one plumber on at present. Yes, Mr. McKinley's away on holiday. Yes, I know it's not like him. Sorry we can't be of any help. Bye. Hiya. How was school? Fine. You got a temperature or something? That felt better. Well, there's a postcard from Mum and Dad and one from the honeymooners. Scarborough is real nice and the weather has not been bad. Don't forget to pay the milk and insurance, love, Mum. Don't give much away, does she? Mm -hmm. And now for something completely different. Having a marvellous time. The island is simply wonderful and the weather has been fantastic. I could do with two weeks in Menorca. I wouldn't mind two weeks anywhere. The Antarctic would do. These plumbing accounts are really getting me down. Mm -hmm. I wonder how Sandy will like the winter. It's supposed to be freezing in Canada in the winter time. Mm. What are you doing? What does it look like? <laughs> I don't believe it. Isabel says it's dead easy. You just go round and round. Oh yeah? Leave it all off. Call it what you like. As long as you bail me out when I need you. It's for this Christmas. <sighs> what are we going to have for our tea tonight? I don't feel like cooking. Well, what about a carry out? Chinese? Can we afford it? Probably not, but we can always starve tomorrow. <laughs> right, I'm going to get my homework done. You're doing homework, Jean McKinley. What is the world coming to? Mm. Oh, hi, Uncle Tom. You finished? Aye, uh, thank goodness. Oh, you look tired. Ah, well, just been one of these days, lads. It's a lot of fiddly wee jobs, you know, but they've really kept me in the go, I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh, here, did you get that account made out? Yeah, I've got it here. Well, something the matter? Well, it's just as far as I can make out. You don't seem to make a profit from the job. What? <laughs> ah, come on, let me have a look at it. Well, look, there's the price of the fitments. Could it cost more than we allowed for, right enough? If you add on your time at the proper rate. It comes to more than we estimated for. Exactly. You just can't get away from the fact that this family's got no natural business acumen. But you're always telling them to estimate low. Aye, but not so low as they end up making a loss. Turns out they've been working for 50 pence an hour. I can get more than that babysitting. I just don't bother saying so to Dad. Let's hope the Scarborough's ears are green with him. He might come back mellowed. Fat chance of that. <laughs> you always give him a bad press, the two of you. Mm, oh, it's different to you. I'm sure the bees knees. Is that such a special thing to be? Do bees have knees and thighs? Can't say I've ever noticed. I need to take a closer look next time. Well, you won't see many bees around here. Mm. McKinley and Campbell, can I help you? Um, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, could you give me your address, please? Pencil. Okay. It's chicken, because she was really good. Spare ribs are brilliant. Bye. Flood? Oh, something like that. I'm desperate anyway. I'll go round later myself. If I can't do anything, I'll just have to call it Uncle Tom. Oh, do you plum? Oh, you should see me in action with a plunger. Mm. Oh, do you think you could get a moment's peace around here? I'll go. Here, I'll take some of these before I finish them all off. Mm, I Sorry about that job. You're losing money on it. Must be worrying for you. Uh, it's just as well we could use a lodger, Neil. You'll save us from the breadline yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 
busy. Oh, hiya. Hope I'm not interrupting. No, we're just having a carry out. May I move some of this stuff and have a seat? Thanks. We're living in a state of squalor while mum and dad are away. It's great. I think it's my natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> the place isn't too bad. Hmm. Fancy a spring roll? Oh, good for the figure. <laughs> no thanks. I've just eaten. I was just wondering if any of you'd fancy going to the pictures. It's a good film on at the Odeon. What about you, Jean? I've got a date tonight. Oh, you have, have you? That explains the euphoric entrance after school. <laughs> well, I'd like to go. What about you, Maggie? Oh, I, too, have a date with a blocked drain. Some folk have all the luck. You're a close one, aren't you? Mm. I'm not. Bring him in for a coffee afterwards. I might. I'll see. Hey, you look fantastic. Isabel's making a real play for Neil, isn't she? Well, apart from Brian, I suppose that's her affair. I don't see why she shouldn't. Mm. Well, I don't think a girl should do the running. Oh, for crying out loud, leave the 1890s behind. Emancipate yourself. I'm doing all right the way I am. Oh, I'm sick of the sound of that damn thing. I'll get it, in case it's... Oh, the mystery man. Oh, if it's anyone want a plumber, tell them we all got foot and mouth disease. No, I'm afraid you can't. She's got foot and mouth disease. Hey, it's for you. Oh. Yeah, quite badly. Both feet, and you should see her mouth. Who is it? Who do you think? Love her, boy. Uh, see you later. James. Could you not? But we had a car from her today. When did it happen? Poor Katrina. Imagine having a miscarriage in your honeymoon. Yeah, it's rotten luck, all right. It's kind of ironic, too. What? You mean they might not have got married if it hadn't been for the baby? Well, not straight away. Alexander certainly wouldn't have. Why didn't you bring what's his face in for a cup of coffee? Didn't want to. Afraid he'd give you a red face? Maybe. When are you seeing him again? Tomorrow. Mm, must be pretty keen. We'll need to meet him sometime. Well, I don't see why. Suit yourself. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, it must be Neil. Mm. Didn't come straight home, did he? Gone one. Mm. Is that you, Neil? <sighs> Neil, are you all right? I was just taking a shortcut down this alley. Rule mm, number one, the longest way round is often the shortest way home. I was asking for trouble. Now drink up your tea. Well, I guess it was. I won't do it again. You've got to keep your eyes open at night. How many were there? Oh, felt like an army. Yeah. And the boots like horses' hooves on them. Mm, you're lucky to get off so lightly. You could have get kicked unconscious. Why am I clustered? Yeah, I did put up a bit of a fight. I scared a couple. Mm. Well, it's just as well Mum's away. She'd be really upset, so she would. Violence makes her feel ill. And you and Maggie are hardened to it. I wouldn't say that. But we know our way about. We have to. It's not like living up in the Glen, you know, Neil? No, it's not. Won't be Sakeen in Glasgow now. Could happen anywhere. The Glen? No, probably not. And if it did, it would probably be a, a bunch of thugs from Glasgow. It wasn't a very pleasant experience, I have to admit that. But I'm not going to go running off home, if that's what you're wondering. I'm glad. Are you? And I'll just have to be more careful in future, instead of stumbling about like an ignorant laddie. There's some places you just shouldn't go at night. You just have to keep me right. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. If you mean Brian, I broke it off with him this morning. So do you think they'll be back in Monday after all? Yeah, it looks like Katrina should be fit to travel. Mm. Well, we're expecting Mum and Dad back from Scarborough sometime today. Oh. Look who we picked up in the street. Hello, James. Nice to see you. And you, Mrs. Campbell. Jess. Sorry, Jess. Hi, lad. Hello. 
Well, aren't you going to introduce us then, Jean? Pete, this is my sister, Maggie. Maggie, this is Pete Laurie. Hello, Maggie. Pleased to meet you. And this is James from Edinburgh. Why does everybody have to wear from Edinburgh? Oh, it's just so they can please you. <laughs> We've got nothing against Edinburgh. Right. Well, not much, anyway. Ta! We had a great time there at Katrina's wedding. Hello, James. Nice to meet you. Oh, and we're real pleased to have the chance to meet you at last. Yes, Jean's been doing her best to keep you hidden away. Who could blame me? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you'll all be wanting a cup of tea as well. Oh, that'd be uh, smashing, yes, Jean. Thanks. Typical. Come on, Pete. Oh, oh, don't take him away from us. You go on up and we can have a wee chat. Get to know one another. Bring down some of your chocolate fudge cake. Oh, she's a real wee baker. Is she? I'll go and give her a hand. What line of business are you in, then? Uh, I'm an apprentice electrician. Well, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> You'll never get there then, will you? No, oh, but you certainly will. <laughs> Maybe I don't need chocolate cake. Uh, he seems nice. He is. Here's Katrina. Oh, pretty upset by the sound of it. No wonder. Yeah, I should do. Well. <laughs> Shall we go down and see if Aunt Jessie's asking Pete to name the day? <laughs> so, anyway, I feel I was lucky to get the job. Oh, I'm sure you deserve it. No, well, they're a good firm anyway. They're well established. Uh, no, like I say. We're still trying to get off the ground. <laughs> Limping along, you could call it. Yeah, uh, well, we took a wee bit of a tumble recently. Ah, uh, well, you'll just need to estimate higher next time, Uncle Tam. Well, I'd not get the job at all. Ah, never mind. Everybody has their wee setbacks once in a while. Oh, it's just our whales are closer together than most folks, eh? <laughs> Sugar Pete? Uh, one, please, Maggie. And I wouldn't mind a piece of your cake, Jean. It looks lovely. Uh, Jean's cakes are always lovely. Oh, you're right there, James. Although Maggie can take a turn. I in the can't bake for toffee. Come on, Aunt Jessie. <laughs> Thanks. So, how are the studies going, James? Uh, okay, so far. We'll have to start bringing all our ailments to you now. <laughs> Give me time. I'm only in my first term. I've got five years to go. Five? Oh, the son of the wanderers, eh? <laughs> oh, <lovely. laughs> oh, it's great to be home. Oh, Mum, you're looking great. <laughs> Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I do beg your pardon. Ah, have been a nice change, Jess. Good to be back. Well, where's the sun turning? Thanks. Well, Dad, just enjoy yourself. It started raining the moment we arrived. Oh, Dad! Well, I prefer my own home. You can do what you like. Sit without your jacket on. Drink beer from the tin. And why not? It tastes better that way. <laughs> Can I tell them Um, where does this go? I'll just stick that anywhere. You boys shouldn't be doing that. Ah, I don't mind drying up. Ah, James likes poking around other people's cupboards. Do I? The colander goes in there. <laughs> You're a pair of right handy lads, so yeah. I wish Tam was half as good. What's that? Listen, dear. <laughs> oh, at last. Fetch a couple of beers, Maggie. Oh, okay. Hey, you've not told me how the business has been doing yet. Oh, look, just let's forget about work for a bit, eh? Kid on, you're still on holiday. Are you lot keeping something from me? Would we do that, Dad? Oh, ho, ho, would you not? <laughs> and where are you young folks going tonight? Oh, we're going to the disco. Oh, my, 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 we are good off in the world. Why don't you and James come? Oh, I don't mind. It's better than Elizabeth probably come too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe discos aren't much in James's oh, line. There might be something nice on at the theatre. I'm game if you want to go. Yes. 
Time to lay off, Maggie. You have to do anything. I'm not prepared to put up with him much longer. Look at last night, the way he kept cutting in. He was doing it deliberately, trying to provoke me. I felt like punching him. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <sighs> don't you understand why I felt like punching him? I suppose so. But punching never does any good. It would have done me some good. Well, it would have done nothing for me. Why don't you try to see things from my point of view for a change? Oh, are you suggesting that I don't? Yes, I am. Well, you don't, do you? At least not very often. It's always got to be the way you want it. I want to get one thing sorted out, Maggie. Are you my steady girlfriend or are you not? Look, we've been through all this before. That was a long time ago. Things have moved on since then. Look, you know I don't like the word steady. It's an accepted term. Not for me. Oh, it's all part of this not wanting to get tied down business, isn't it? It's not business, as you call it. It's how I feel. What about how I feel? You know, I think you've got hang up the other way from me, James. You're so keen to get tied down, it's not true. Perhaps I'm hung up about you. James. What do you feel for me, Maggie? Anything? Of course. What? A lot, but I don't know how you add it up. It's only doing plumbing accounts. Would you be prepared to say you're my girlfriend then? Yeah, but. Does it mean I can't dance with anybody else? No, but what Mike's doing is something else. You know that yourself. He's trying to get between us. Would you admit that? Yeah, I suppose so. Well then, either you turn the score or I will. Kathy gone. I told her I'd cleared up. Lift your feet. And you can give that sink a clean while you're sitting at it. I've got Neil coming in in a minute to get his hair cut. Oh, you have, have you? So that's why you're so keen to do the clear up, let Cathy get away. So what about Neil? What about him? I think he's fabulous. Oh, I envy you, Izzy. Simple child of nature. Ow! So did you just go off Brian or something or what? I suppose I must. Do you mind you once said to me, you can see your whole life ahead of you? Well, I got to thinking about that. And I wasn't so sure I did want to see it all lined up ahead. I hope I get a reputation as a subversive influence, a disruptor of lives. Hello. Hi, Maggie. How are you? She's been maltreating me. Isabel. You wouldn't think it to look at her, would you? Would you like to take a seat at the basin, sir? You better watch it. Remember what happened to Samson and Delilah got hold of? Oh, I met Mike, by the way. Got his books today. Oh, no. Garage was cutting down staff. Okay, it's the last one. First out. Poor Mike. Oh, well, I better be going. I'm sure you don't want me to stay and pass the cafe grips, do you, Isabel? <laughs> I think I'll manage fine and mowing, thanks very much. I'm sure you will. It's a good job they can't see you in the Glen now, Neil. Getting your hair done at a lady's hairdresser's. Have you spoken to him yet? No, not yet. Well, I haven't had the chance. We were with Neil and Isabel the other day. Liar. OK, so I'll keep putting it off. Mm, you're good at that. Procrastinator par excellence. Just call me coward and be done with it. The trouble is, the issues never seem as clear-cut to me as they do to other people. It's your fault then, isn't it? No doubt. But I hate the thought of hurting them. But you already have. Just by being with James. Maybe. But to actually spell it out, I shouldn't have to. I think James is a point. Ah, you would. But then you and I see things differently. It'll be announcing your engagement if you carry on the way you're going. <laughs> Hello, Colin. Maggie! Have you been home for the weekend? 
You've been in Edinburgh. Mm. Time for a coffee before you Why not? I suppose the business is still having its ups and downs. I'm really afraid one of these days it's going to hit the skids. Oh, no, Jesse, you're so incompetent. Dad and Uncle Tam do not have a head for business. How did they get into it? Okay, okay, I plead guilty. That's why I have to keep taking time off school to help sort them out. <laughs> It's nice to see you, Maggie. I'll come up and visit you once Janet's joined you. If she does, see you. See you. Well, I don't know, Andrew. It's worrying. Aye, oh, it is. Can you manage that, Neil? I can always get an engineer. I think I could afford that. I am just. No, I'm doing fine. I can see what the trouble is. Hmm? It's a place with machines. He might did a hair dry for Cathy, so I heard. This is well, I've got my job at the supermarket. Aye, uh, we could be doing with cold snap and a few burst pipes. Well, maybe you could arrange it with the Almighty then, madam. Oh, I'll have a word with him. Better still, what about you leaving the school and getting a job? But, Mum, you agreed. Things were different then, Maggie. Your father had a fixed wage coming in every week. You know, like now, one minute we're in the money, the next we're broke. And don't tell me you do know that much for those six year studies. I am, more than you think. We just got a lot of free periods to study on our own. Well, what about studying in your spare time then, in the evenings? What you had to do when I was a girl if you wanted to go on. Oh, Mum, come on. Don't tell me things are different now, Maggie. They're not. They used to be for a while, but they're going back to what they were. You can't expect to be cosseted any longer. I'll go, in case it's paid. Mum, I don't even know if I could get a job. If you can't get a job after us keeping you on at the school, no, I think there's something no. far wrong. You know what unemployment's like at the moment, Nan. And quite a lot of them have got their highest and a university degree. Well, what's the point of it, then? You might as well be getting an education as been unemployed, Mrs McKinley. Better. Must be soul-destroying being in the door. It's Mike. Oh, hello, Mike. Good evening, Mrs McKinley. I was wondering if you'd like to come out. Oh, I should be doing the VAT returns tonight. That can wait until tomorrow. Huh? Well, that's no due just yet. Come on, Mike. Look, you always said you didn't want to go steady. But I didn't say I was going steady now. Come on, it boils down to the same thing. Well, it doesn't. Look, Mike, I really don't want to have a row just now. I've had enough for one day. Oh, that's great. What about me? Don't you think I've had enough at times? Mike, I'm sorry. I really don't want to have to say all this. Especially if you've been out of work. Oh, well, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Look, let's not quarrel. You've changed your tune, though, haven't you? I don't see how. Yes, you have. You always said you'd have a string of men. James Fraser doesn't quite add up to a string. I said I would if I wanted to. At the moment, I don't. You only want James Fraser. What's up with you? Well, I've been thinking. You know about what Mum said? Well, I think she might be right. What about getting a job? Yeah. Well, the way things are in the business, Mum having to work in a supermarket, I can't expect to lead such a privileged life. I'm living off other folks' backs. But you go to university next year, though. Oh, yeah, I'd fight for that. Anyway, I'd get a grant. What kind of job do you think you could get? Oh, who knows? Washing stairs? <laughs> do anything. Oh, and then there's Mike. There is, isn't there? And I really don't see why I shouldn't go out with him sometimes. He's an old friend, after all. See you. You've always wanted to have your cake and eat it. Yeah, greedy guts McKinley, they call me. Whereas you're so sensible, Jeannie. Oh, I can't help that. Yeah, I suppose not. You know, I envy you and Isabel in one way. How's that? Oh, you're so uncomplicated. Simple. Oh, I don't mean simple-minded. Yeah, I don't suppose a simple life would suit me. Oh, I'm quite sure it wouldn't. You should complicate it up in no time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Remember you once asked me if I ever thought of the future? <laughs> and you said not much. Well, I have been thinking. Have you 
indeed. What have you decided? To do some kind of course. Yeah, you should. What will you do? Catering or something? No. Carpentry. I'd really like to be a joiner. A joiner? Well, I'm sick of being told I'm a grand wee baker. She knows the kings are friends. Maggie declines to dance. She won't work in a factory. Though parents think she should. She's inclined academically. And so far, it's so Maggie will be a teenage bride. Maggie begins to tie. She accepts the adversity. She always knew. So far, so far, so good. Maggie, 